Hi, I'm Ishi Wingtips and I'm going to teach you how to create basic clothing in Second Life. What you will need to do is to create a special texture in your graphics program and then upload it into Second Life. From there you can apply it onto your avatar. I will show you how to do each of these steps. Clothing design is a very creative and broad field and this tutorial will not give you skill, only insight into the basics of creation. Hopefully you will then want to develop your talents and creativity. The first thing you will need to do is download a template for your texture, or at least keep a link handy. My favorite template is created by Robin Wood. Robin Wood's UV templates are basically um, textures that go on top of your avatar and correspond with the avatar's mesh, so that when you create clothing on top of these, they will fit on your avatar. Um, this pretty much explains everything, and I'll put the link in the um, Dropbox. But if you want to make um, a, a basic top, then just click the, f the link for it, and there you have the um, image for it. And you can copy it or save it to your desktop and then open it later in your graphics program. I'm just going to copy it since I'm going to go straight into Photoshop right now. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm in Photoshop. Um, what you'll want to do is probably get a graphics program like Photoshop, maybe GIMP if you don't want to spend the money on Photoshop, or I would recommend um, getting a trial of Photoshop, and it, it really is a wonderful program for Second Life. So what you want to do is press Control New, or just File New, <laughs> and get the Untitled One file. Um, if, if you've just copied it onto your thing, otherwise you can just open the file in Photoshop directly. Make sure that this is 512 by 512 because really that's um, that's all the size you'll need. And then paste in the template. So there you go. Um, you might be wondering, whoa, that's weird. How does it wrap around um, your avatar? That's really bizarre. Well, basically your avatar is created um, with a polygon mesh. The seams line up to each other so where you can see the um, the this pink lines up with this purple, this green stripe will attach onto this green stripe. Basically, um, every color on this template corresponds with the place where it is. Um, so, from here you're going to need to um, create a new layer. Make sure that you are not painting on top of the template directly. That would be very bad. So make sure you're on your second layer. And you can delete the background layer. Um, so right here what you'll need to do is start actually creating the layer of clothing. There are tons of ways to do this from just like painting on the image to um, pressing, filling in the whole thing, lowering the opacity, and then just cutting chunks out, um, to using the pen tool. And I'm going to make a separate tutorial on creating um, on um, modifying and editing um, on top of the template. But for now, I'm just going to speed through this so that you guys can see, you know, how to basically just upload a file. So don't be afraid to play around in this region. Uh, try to make sure that the seams are working, and so you really want to work with these colored lines. I'm going to use the pen tool because I usually use that. Um, so I want to start out right here, and then So here I have my two um, blocks that are going to be the base for this, this, I don't know, this top. So then I can just delete that. Um, please, this is the part where you can get the most creative, but I'm just going to show you how to make a very basic top. So for shading, what I use is mainly the burn and dodge tool. They're right here under the paint bucket tool. If you're using a different version of Photoshop, they might be in a different location, but the icons will always be the same. So you want to make sure that you have the burn tool. And this region um, just changes the way it looks, but I'm going to use mid-tones and exposure about 50%. So then, oh, and I want to make this a soft brush, not a hard one. 
So then you can just basically make an outline. There are ways to do this without actually using your mouse. Um, you can use like layer effects and such. But once again, these are all different variations that I'll probably make separate videos about. So basically, that's sloppy. Basically, if you want to just create a basic outline, here you go, and there. And then you can also use the burn tool to create um, wrinkles. You want to set the exposure lower for wrinkles. Um, 